Hey everyone, and welcome to part one of our Animal Crossing character tutorial. Let's get into it. I'm going to make a couple collections just by clicking over here in the outliner and selecting new. Go into front orthographic view by hitting 5 on the numpad and then 1. With reference selected, we're going to add some of our reference images. Shift A to add a new item. Go down into image and reference and add our front reference image. If you haven't already, you can get these from our Dropbox, linked in the description. I'm going to hide my cube by toggling its visibility in the outliner, and move it down into character collection. Rename our reference to front so we don't get confused later. Go into right orthographic view by hitting numpad 3 and add our side reference with shift A. Switch to the top view by hitting numpad 7, Add the top reference, with this image selected, hit R and type 180 to rotate it by 180 degrees on the Z axis. Now use G to grab this top reference and position it so that everything lines up nicely. You can lock what axis you're moving objects along by hitting X, Y, or Z after G to grab. Once you have it lined up nicely, just drag it along the Z axis to somewhere out of the way and rename it. Now into bottom ortho view, with control numpad 7, add the bottom reference. Again, rotate it with R by 180 degrees. And rename this to something creative, like bottom. I love to overkill the reference. I do 45 degree references if it didn't seem socially unacceptable. Line it up as best you can, then drag it away. In the outliner, I'm going to enable some more restriction toggles. Move the front reference back along the y-axis, then disable the selectability of the reference. This will ensure we don't drag the reference around while frantically blundering. So now that our reference is set up, it's time to start modeling. Toggle our cube's visibility on, and then rename it to head, or whatever. Go into wireframe mode so that we can see our reference. With the cube selected, tab into edit mode and switch to vertex select. Position our cube in line with the head. Add a subdivision modifier, set the viewport number to 2, scale it up slightly, and in object mode, apply our modifier. Alt select this edge loop, scale it along the Z axis by 0. So I studied how the real Animal Crossing character models were created quite a bit, and the hair and textures and everything seem to work the best if you rotate this sphere about 25 degrees. Line our circle up kind of like this. I'm trying to line up the middle edge loop with his forehead. Grab the very top vertex and hit O to turn on proportional editing. Make sure your fall off is pretty big by hitting G and scrolling your mouse wheel a bit. Then flatten the head slightly. I'm going to scale the top of this character's head a little bit. Add another subdivision modifier. Alt select this loop and then with C, circle select everything underneath. Hit O to turn off proportional editing, move this part of the head away slightly, and then rotate it with R just a little bit. I want to position it about like this for now. In front ortho view, select the entire left side of the head and delete it. Then add a mirror modifier. Enable clipping. In right ortho view, select these two vertices and pull them in a bit. Make sure proportional editing is on again. Same with the front. Alt select this loop and hide it with H. Then reshape the bottom of his head as you see me do here. Alt H to unhide everything and it's starting to look alright. In solid mode, inspect your shape for like 10 minutes apparently and then change shading to smooth. I'm just going to pull these faces a little bit with proportional editing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so many like tiny little- And that's good enough for the head! Time to make a nose. The circle and square nose shapes are pretty straightforward, so I figured triangle nose made the most sense for this tutorial. And I think I came up with a perfect formula for replicating the Animal Crossing triangular nose. Shift A to add a cube, scale it down to roughly nose size. Switch into wireframe and edit mode, I can't get over the roughly <laughs> nose size. <laughs> Select all with A, scale along the Z axis by 1.7. In face select, delete this back face with X. Switch to Edge Select, select this bottom back edge, hit Shift S to move the cursor to Selected, change your pivot point to 3D Cursor. Select the two side bottom edges and scale them along the Y axis to 0.69. 
Now select the front bottom edge and change your pivot point to median point and scale it by 0.43. Select these bottom edges. Change pivot point to 3D cursor. Go into right ortho view and rotate by 11 degrees. Now select the top back edge, hit shift S to move the cursor to selected. Select all upper edges and move them to your cursor by hitting S and zero. Select everything with A and merge vertices by distance with Alt M. And there's my Animal Crossing nose formula. Now we can turn back on our reference and drag our nose into position. Change shading to smooth and just kind of drag it forward a little. Now you can name this object or forget to like I frequently do. It's time for the ear, which I also did some research on in head of time. Add a circle with 16 vertices. Go into wireframe and upper ortho view. Toggle the visibility of our reference. In vertex select, grab these front vertices and get rid of them. Name your objects as sporadically as you find appropriate. Alt select this entire object and go into front view. Rotate the ear semicircle by 90 degrees, and now we can turn back on the reference to get the rough size. And back off. Get out of here. Now, I'm going to disable the head object because I'm easily confused. And move my cursor to this bottom vertex. Select everything and make sure your pivot point is the 3D cursor. Now, in top orthographic view, shift D to duplicate the entire half circle and rotate it by 30 degrees. Select the original half circle again, duplicate it, and rotate it by negative 20. Shift D again with this half circle selected and rotate it by negative 60 degrees. Select all and merge vertices by distance. Select and fill in these triangle faces on the end. With these two vertices selected, spam F to fill in the faces and do this until all of our half circles are joined with faces. All right, now turn on our reference again and in top ortho view, select this front half circle and extrude it forward. In right ortho view, rotate the entire ear a bit, about 13 degrees, and then position the ear a little better. With this vertex selected, turn on proportional editing with O and shape the ear. Once you get it how you want, select the entire front and back edge loop, turn off proportional editing. Extrude toward the middle of the face. Change your pivot point to median point and hit S and zero to scale these vertices all into one point. Move these vertices into about this position. Now with proportional editing back on, get the ear shaped. When it looks good, add a mirror modifier. The mirror modifier reflects based off the object's origin point. You can apply the location of this ear object or change the mirror object to an object that already has an origin point at its center. In this case, I use the head. Let's change the shading of the ear to smooth. And we'll pick back up next time with the legs. Thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my in-depth explanation on how to place reference images. And that I didn't bother to edit out my random laughing fits. If you like our channel, find it useful, or are just here out of morbid curiosity, feel free to share our videos around. Because quite frankly, we're terrible at advertising ourselves. Sincerely though, thank you everyone. Goodbye.